What is up everybody, Gistic here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your audio quality sound better in Audacity. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is just record your audio. So I'm going to record a little test, and um, when you do record your audio, make sure you leave like a little 5 to 10 second window at the start, so you can um, pick up any background noise and delete it later on. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and record this little bit. This is a test, boy. Alright. Let's go ahead and play that back for you. So there's background noise. My computer's very loud. This is a test, boy. Alright. So the first thing you want to do is get rid of this background noise. So you're going to go ahead and select this. Go down to, um, go to effect. Go down to noise reduction. Press get noise profile and select the whole thing go to noise reduction again and depending on how loud your background noise is um, adjust this bar mine's pretty loud so I'm going to go ahead and go to and set it at 15 but if it's not that loud just put it around 10 press ok see if it's still there no background noise anymore there you go this is a test boy as you can see there's probably a little bit of background noise yeah, there's a tiny bit of background noise, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that quickly. Alright, so now it's like completely gone. Okay guys, so the next thing we want to do is compress our audio. So you're going to select the whole thing again, go to effect, go to compressor, and the threshold should be around 15 to 20 dB. Um, but the more you slide it to the left, the more the background noise will show up. So I'm probably just going to leave it at 15, press OK. As you can see, we've got some background noise back again, so we're just going to go ahead and get rid of that. Alright, so the background noise is gone, and we're going to play this back for you. It's going to be very loud, so turn your headphones down just for a sec. This is a test, boy. Alright, so that doesn't sound too good at the moment, um, but we're going to fix that. We're going to fix that. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is make our voice sound deeper more and more manly. So we're going to boost the bass of our audio. Um... If you're a girl though, please skip this, te uh, this step just because you don't want your voice sounding deeper. Well, you might. I'm, I'm not judging. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to go to Effect, equal Equalization, go to Select Curve, go to Bass Boost, and you're going to boost this to about 12 decibels, Wh whatever, um, whatever floats your boat. Just play around with this, see what you like. I like this, so you can copy this if you want. Um, play around with it for yourself and press ok so that's boosted that up so now we've got the bass boosted we also need the treble boosted um, just so it doesn't sound too loud you know and so we're gonna go ahead do the same thing go select treble boost and boost that up as well press ok and right now as you can see that is very loud I'm not even gonna play it it is that loud so we're, we're just going to go ahead and fix that. As you can see, this audio is like um, very uneven. That's, that's the word I'm looking for. It's very uneven. Some bits are very loud. Some bits are soft. So the audio is not going to sound good. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, go to the limiter. This used to be called hard limiter, by the way, but they changed it. Um, so it's harder to find, but I'm showing you how to do it anyway. So go to limiter. And by default, this will be put on soft limit. So you're going to um, select hard limit, leave the first two and the last one, and then change the limit to dB to like around four to five. Um, just play around with it again, but just keep it around at least four and then just press OK. And as you can see, it's nice and nice and chopped up. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and play this back for you. This is a test, boy. Alright, so you can see that sounds a lot better, but um, it's very quiet, probably because I've got that all the way down. So to do that, you want to select the whole thing again, press effect, go down to um, normalize, just keep this all the same, keep that at negative one, press OK, and there we go. There's the final audio, I'm going to go ahead and play it for you guys, and you can see what you think, see if this actually worked, which it did. This is a test, boy. So as you can see, that sounds a lot better than it did at the start. Yeah, and I guess that will be it for this video. If you guys have any troubles with this video, 
please be sure to comment. I'm going to try to respond to every comment um, like I always do. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and also hit the like button if this video helped you. It helps the channel out a lot and it would be much appreciated. And yeah, comment down below what videos I should make next. And that is it from me, guys. Have a wonderful day. And peace out.